Hey guys, it's Cook3 and welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Rhythm Paradise. In the last part we completed this row over here, which had some several some several it had several unusual but rather cool songs in it. And now, scrolling down to play one of my well, yet another one of my favorite mini-games, Munchy Monk. Your training takes place deep in the mountains. We call it monk training, but it's really just eating dumplings all day. Enjoy! That sounds like my kind of monk training. I don't want to learn all that, you know, standing around on poles and that's not monks at all, is it? I don't want to learn all that <laughs> meditating. Training one. Eat one. Tap precisely to fling the dumpling into your mouth. Wow, I didn't realize how quick the tutorial was. But yeah, when he says one, you just tap a little bit after that. One tap, one tap, one tap, one tap. One tap. Pretty dang simple. Um, I, I won't pay attention there, sorry. Um, but yeah, that guy has like the biggest nostril ever. It's like the size of his eye. Speaking of his eye, that's some crazy eyes he's got going on there as well. Eat three. You must fling three dumplings into your mouth. Pay close attention to when yeah, pay close attention when I say three. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. So yeah, it's basically just a sped up version of one. Um, you don't need to wait for him to give you extra cues, because just mash your hand and all will be well, and then eat two slightly different. You must fling two dumplings into your mouth swiftly. The key is to tap twice after you hear the cue. He says two two in the rhythm that you have to tap. Two. So, again, just repeat, and that's all it is. You have learned what I have to teach you. Continue with your training. With a song! That sounds like a great idea, and it has one of the best songs in the game, I'd say. Um, not quite as good as a later one. Um, uh, because, as you may recall, if you watched Rhythm Tengoku, um, two, some songs have uh, second versions, and I should not talk while playing this one, because it's quite hard to focus. Also, I'm apparently really crap at hitting the ones. Oh well. Um, yes, as I was saying, you may recall that some songs have a second uh, version, and I like the second version of the song better, but we'll get to that in good time. Also, the more dumplings eat, the more your mustache grows. And, yeah, that, was, that wasn't a good run at all. I, yeah. If you give me a spur for that, what the hell? <laughs> you clearly have low standards when it comes to dumpling eating. Uh, well, I'm fine with that then. Uh, now you are the master. If you eat enough dumplings, you get your own special dumpling cloud. And it's tasty as hell. Uh, so yes, now we move on to DJ School. Pick up some tips from DJ Yellow and see if you can learn his patented move. Scratcho! Hey! This is an unusual one, because the audio hasn't, from the sound of it, actually been edited from the Japanese version. So, as you'll see. Welcome to DJ School! I'm here to give you the secrets of how to look like a real DJ, even if you do have kind of a fish face. Let's give it a spin! <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, record spin and everything. When I say ooh, tap and hold. When I say hey, flick. Ooh. Yeah, so he says scratcho, which doesn't really sound particularly English now, does it? But, you know, I think I get the feeling that the translation would have been ruined if they'd gone with anything other than scratcho. Because it sounds pretty damn awesome if you ask me. I think that's all there is to this game, actually. Oh, yeah! Now try this one. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, wait, no, I think it might just be slightly different rhythm. Uh, I guess that's just a sort of... Um, the cue comes a bit, or the uh, time you have to tap comes a little faster. Um, but yeah, just wait for the ooze, flick on the haze, and everyone will be happy. Uh, so, I am recording this on the 26th. My battery is running low, which is not a good sign. Perfect! Here comes the real thing. But yes, so I hope you guys all had Merry Christmases and what have you. I just realized I've forgotten to sign out of Skype. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass later. Man, he just doesn't want us to do DJing. Are you some kind of alien dude? I mean, fine if you are, I can't exactly judge. The blue guy reminds me of someone from another game. For some reason, it reminds me of Euphoria. Might be Gil. 
Um, I don't know. This has a pretty weird face. Hey! Um, these guys also kind of remind me of uh, the Rap Brothers from the uh, Rhythm of Goku. It might be our facial expression, which looks similarly, de there. similarly derpy to that of the yellow Rap Brother we controlled in the last one. But, you know, that's completely coincidental, I'm sure. Hey! Sorry, I'm being quiet. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. I was a bit too focused on the fact that I was being quiet, that uh, I didn't realize that wasn't actually a cue. Oh well. Um, never mind. I get the feeling this is... I forgot, that's another reason I like this one, is that he gets so enthusiastic about it. Come on! Um, wait, that was close. That was scratch. I was scratching my face there, so I almost missed that one. Um, yeah, I get the feeling this one is one that kind of requires perfection to get superb, pretty much. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in a second with my superb attempt, and I'm also going to uh, plug in the power, because I don't want this to run out in the middle of recording. Yeah, not too shabby. Hey! <laughs> They're just sort of staring at us with their cold, dead eyes. Never again will I be happy. Uh, but yes, so that is that. Pretty simple. I shall see you guys in a second for my perfect, not perfect, but superb attempt. BRB! Break! Come on! Ooh. Let's go! Check it out! Let's go! Oh yeah! Scratch up! Okay, well I got the superb there, and as you might be able to see, it doesn't say you got a medal. Uh, that's because I already actually got the superb on this, um, but then the video card was, or the capture card was not connecting properly, so there was a lot of video glitches, so yeah, I've just redone this bit. That was a few days ago as well, looking like a real DJ. That was a few days ago as well, so now I can actually say Happy New Year everybody, because I know that I haven't uploaded the video yet. Uh, so yes, we're now in 2013, and that is crazy, and to celebrate, I'm gonna... Well, I mean, for you guys, I started off with Munchie Monk, which is a good way to start, but for me, I'm starting off with Drummer Duel. The red team has pushed you around for long enough. It's time to show them who's really got rhythm. Go Blue! Hell yeah, go Blue. We can kick Red's ass all over the, ta all over the time. You know, the reason I said really at the end of that was because previously I'd missed the exact same things, and it didn't give me a superb, but that time it just did, so I don't know. Let's warm up before we start. Just match what I do. Yeah, this is another listen and repeat game. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Ah! Um, uh, so yeah, it's just another one of those which I just... I don't, like... I mean, first of all, I find them kind of difficult to do sometimes. But most of all, I just find them kind of boring. I mean, even if they try to, like, mix up the rhythm a bit like this sort of thing, I just find it meh. I mean, it could be a lot worse, but, you know. Okay, it's time for the real thing! They don't give you that much of a chance. Let's start drumming! 
So yeah, these are taiko drums, which, I don't know, I think they're some kind of traditional Japanese drum used mostly at sort of celebrations and things. Um, <laughs> I like this, uh, because it seems to be like, um, ah, crap, it seems to be like some kind of competition between the two of them, and I have no idea if taiko competitions exist or not. Wow, what is wrong with me today? What's so hard about that? Honestly, come on, Joe. I <laughs> still like the little chili eaters at the front there. I didn't even hear the rhythm that time. Now this is what I like about this song, is it starts going really crazy. Yeah. However, it's a good thing I like this bit because it looks like I'm going to be repeating it a few times. Man! I said so crap there. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Right. So that's what it looks like when you have no rhythm and you try to play this game. I don't know. Try again. Okay, serious. What? That is not okay. That was shite. You'll do better next time. I sure will, because I'm just going to cut ahead to my superb attempt. Back in a second. Oy vey. Oh, thank fucking God! <laughs> that took me at least about seven off-screen attempts, in which I played through the entire game and missed, like, a note or something and said, Oh no, that doesn't count! So...
This is such a cute game! No! You win the gift. What's a gyro? Read it to the cafe. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It's an airport. Um, but yes. Now that that game has counted me down a little from... That one. Love Lab! The research scientist... <laughs> I said that surprisingly loudly. Love Lab. The research scientists of Love Lab intend to get to the bottom of this whole love thing. Just to make sure there aren't any accidents. Because that stuff's corrosive and will eat through your flesh. Things you didn't know about love. Uh, right. We're studying the science of love here in the lab. Today we'll be making the very stuff of romance. Hearts. We'll be creating our own hearts. They said we were mad for playing God, trying to create new organs, but no. So yes, all this one is, it's not exactly a repeat the rhythm. It's just, well, no, it's not a repeat the rhythm. It's just all follow the right cues, basically. Um, and yeah, this is another cute one. But uh, look over to the right. The guy on the the guy on the right is um. You might be able to see there's like an ear popping up there. He's um. He's a, he's he's a strange he's a strange guy or she's a strange girl. I don't know. You know your way around the lab already because all we do is stand in this one spot. Now try giving it a shake. Slide the sliders up and down with big strokes. So yeah, what you do is hold it. Um, and it's just do it in the rhythm basically. So you hold it down and then shake rather than and then you flick afterwards. Shake a shake a flick. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um and I I, I have to say I quite like this one. Possibly just because it's kinda cute. Um though the song isn't exactly what I'd call my favourite in the game. I mean there are worse, but it's also just a bit well, you'll soon see. I think we're ready to bring the end experiment. Sorry, I turned up to work a little drunk today. I think I might have drunk a little bit too much of that love potion thing. Uh, so yeah, as you can tell, it's sort of a little bit boy bandy, but um, it gets even more boy bandy in a bit. Um, and if you're thinking this is the only part of the game, well, it kind of is. It's basically just the grab and flick and grab and shake one. Uh, but there are a few different rhythms of the shaking, uh, which we'll get into a bit later in the game. Um, also, like, that's what's cute about this game, is that they keep blushing over to one another when you get the rhythm right. Um, I think when you get the rhythm wrong, they don't do that, and the hearts just sort of disappear. I don't know, if I get it wrong, then you'll see. I want to know what the situation with the guy on the right, because it's always the love between these two, and yet the guy on the right is just like, oh, whatever. Maybe he's asexual. Like, you'd think there'd be, like, a stronger thing between Mushroom Girl over there and Chipmunk Guy on the right. Um, because they've got the more complete potion. But yeah, as you can see there, there's a slightly different shaking rhythm. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. She also has pretty damn interesting hair, I must say. Um, and I don't really know how to describe it. She kind of looks like an ill Goomba. Sorry, that one's just a pretty tricky rhythm to get every now and then. Um, Oh, how hard it was to commentate when doing these rhythm games. Uh, but yeah, that this is like the ultimate boy band song right now. I think I'm getting the rhythm slightly off. Ah! Yeah, so, you see, with those ones, it's okay. As long as you get some of them, you still get, like, some of the points at least. Um, but you, you can get the rhythm, like, completely off if you don't flick in time or if you don't flick at all. Um, I think if you just let it go, then she drops the beaker and it's a little bit sad. Nice job catching those flasks. You shook the flask like a pro, you shook and fling a flask. You know, I must say, all the times I did chemistry and they had all those like posters saying, what you shouldn't do in the lab, I'm pretty sure throwing bottles at people is one of the things you should never do. Eureka, we found love! <laughs> it's just too cute. Like, almost sickeningly so. Um, but in case, yes, Remix 4. It's time to mix things up. Can't you just feel the romance? The drama? The rhythm? Well say the rhythm, but I should imagine the rhythm is heavily implied, and we'll be providing that, thank you very much. So yes, um, as I believe I've said, all the remixes have themes, and this one is themed around love, and it's also got a pretty kicking song. I just hit him in the nose. You guys can piss off. God damn it. Stupid cheerleaders, stop breaking your own necks. Why are they working outside now? Surely people get suspicious about people. 
throwing flasks at one another, one another and then shaking them in the middle of the park. So come to think of it, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Nice shades, guys. Hey! I also like how um, all the people have like different costumes on. Like These guys have uh, backwards caps and um, shirts with hearts on them. It's pretty nifty, but... I did shake there, I promise. You could see it on the touch screen. Well, I think you could. I certainly shook, but... What do I know? I'm just a human with fingers. And you're a game designed to test whether humans have fingers or not. And hey! What was wrong with that? Oh god, these Tycho people. I'm too... Sorry, just focusing on this bit because it's pretty intense. Oh, I miscounted there. <laughs> I just noticed that because its nose is already red. Um, when it got hit by a dumpling, <laughs> it turned blue. Hey, I caught that. But yeah, if you miss it, then the hearts just sort of shrivel up and disappear, and it's kind of sad. Wait, come on. Let's go to Hey! So yeah, I think that was a just okay. Possibly even an okay. Try a little harder. What? Try again? Whoa! Well, at least now you know what Try Again looks like. It's crying this time. Such sad music. So, what did we do? Like, heartbreak! Oh no! <laughs> we angered our friend! <laughs> and now she'll never love us! Oh well. Uh, back in a second with my superb attempt. I think that did it, since I'm pretty sure I only missed like one beat in the Tycho thing. That was really great! Superb! We got a medal. So what happens this time? True love forever! Something tells me she's a bit fickle. Oh, your rhythm wasn't perfect! Well, fuck you then! That girl, I ask you. Uh, anyway, so yes, that is it for Let's Play Rhythm Tengoku 2. <laughs> Let's Play Rhythm Paradise, sorry. That's it for Let's Play Rhythm Paradise Part 4. I shall see you in the next part for, well, part five, and the next column of minigames. Uh, oh, I realised I forgot to mention, um, excuse me, uh, regarding Rhythm Tengoku, I'll post a video about that. I'll try and do that as the next video, just because there's something I need to tell you about the remaining bonus videos, because they most likely won't exist. I shall see you guys later. Goodbye.